firefighters are answering a call for help. The Department of Fire Services is active in providing fire suppression, rescue, and other services to Volusia County citizens and visitors. Each day, Volusia County firefighters respond to a variety of emergency situations. In the course of a year, the department will answer over 12,000 calls for service. Bob and Marla, we are here in New Smyrna Beach. A dramatic scene going on right now. A house is burning here on Enterprise Road. We've just arrived on the scene, actually just ahead of the firefighters. If you look right over here, you can see them actually pulling some of the cables, pulling some of their hoses. They're getting in position right now. As you can see, they're getting ready to turn on the water, trying to knock down this blaze. They've gotten the go-ahead. They're going in right now. Again, it's not clear if anybody is inside the house. It appears that will be their first task. Firefighters will search around this house to see if there might be somebody still trapped inside. Nobody knows where the owners are. At this point, we don't even know who the owners are if they're inside there. Some more smoke now coming out of the back of the house. It looks like they're going from room to room. I'm seeing some movement inside the house. We have at least one engine on the scene right now. It appears to be a pumper truck. Can't tell yet if any water is being sprayed inside. I would assume there would be. We are blocked from where most of the action appears to be going on, and that is again behind the house. Now look at it though, the smoke is really, really starting to come on. You can see white plumes shooting up into the sky. So it is good news, there is no one inside the house. It also appears, you can tell, the smoke has tapered off a bit, and it looks like firefighters have knocked down this blaze. This is no accident. There's a lot of training that is very involved in this. They have lots of hand signals. They have a routine they follow almost strictly every time they enter a house. And as you can tell, it's only been about three minutes and they already have this thing knocked down. So again, a summation. There was a fire here on Enterprise Road in New Smyrna Beach. It lasted about three minutes. It was in the back of the house. There was a lot of smoke rising up. Firefighters looked throughout the house to make sure nobody was there. Nobody was inside the structure. And now the fire is indeed knocked down. So a very good job, actually, by the Volusia County Fire Department. We're live in New Smyrna Beach. Dennis and Keller, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. <laughs> With more than 600 members, the Volusia County Department of Fire Services is one of the largest combination departments in the United States. Their motto is, second to none. The department covers more than 900 square miles of area, which includes densely populated residential areas, commercial and industrial zones, forests and farmlands. Fire Services has 20 fire stations strategically located throughout Volusia County and staffed by a combination of career and volunteer members. Being a volunteer with the Volusia County Fire Services is exciting and rewarding. There are many challenging opportunities for motivated men and women. In addition to firefighters and rescue personnel, there are many individuals and support groups that provide invaluable services to the department and citizens of Volusia County. For example, the Fire Police Support Group controls traffic around incident scenes. This not only protects the firefighters and rescue personnel from possible injury, but directs the flow of vehicles around an incident. Fire police also are responsible for crowd control and securing fire scenes until investigations are completed. The mass team also provides on-scene support for firefighters on major incidents. The team helps out by supplying food and drinks, refilling air bottles, and monitoring firefighter vital signs in the rehab area. The fire prevention team is active in presenting fire safety programs to the community. For example, each year at the Volusia County Fair, the team sets up a booth as a way to provide fire safety education to the public. The fire safety house and the fire prevention clouds are always a hit with children who learn about fire safety while they're having fun. The communications team provides a vital service by manning the Mobile Communications Command Center during large-scale fires and other emergency situations. 
The communications trailer is equipped with radio consoles, planning workstations, and a command conference room. Some fire service members are advisors to the Explorer Youth Program. The Explorers, who are affiliated with the Boy Scouts of America, learn basic firefighting and rescue skills which help prepare them for the future. If you turn around and you've got two hours of what we... Training is critical for firefighters. These men and women spend numerous hours learning the skills necessary to perform their jobs. Well-trained firefighters often make the difference between life or death and whether a home is lost or saved from fire. Firefighters are trained to fight many different types of fires, including liquid petroleum gas, vehicle, and structure fires. Volusia County Fire Service instructors are highly skilled and experienced. The county's Fire Training Center on Tiger Bay Road has received international acclaim for its innovative approach and methods of instruction. Fire service personnel from around the United States and from foreign countries have come to Volusia County to inspect the complex and to learn new training techniques. The four-story smoke tower at the county's training center prepares fire suppression personnel for structural firefighting operations. Firefighters utilize the tower to learn and practice a wide range of fire ground activities, including advanced hose lines, climbing ladders and repelling from high-rise buildings. The search and rescue canine, Ember, also trains at the tower. The county plans to add a two-story burn building at the training center, which will allow firefighters to train under live interior fire conditions. The training center is recognized by the state of Florida as a certified state training facility for certifying firefighters. New fire suppression personnel without previous training receive a minimum of 120 hours of firefighting instruction. The certification also includes training in emergency medicine. The basic first responder course is offered to all new fire services personnel. All required training is provided at no cost to volunteers. Emergency medical technicians and paramedics provide advanced medical care to patients in the field. Certified volunteers are encouraged to ride as paramedics or EMTs on the advanced life support units. All firefighting gear, equipment and uniforms are supplied by the department. Personal safety is always the primary consideration during training and emergency operations. Operating emergency vehicles is a very important responsibility. Every driver receives 16 hours of training at an emergency vehicle operator's course. This course ensures that county firefighters have the driving skills to operate the apparatus safely during emergency operations. Fire Services has more than 130 fire trucks and other emergency vehicles. Extrication skills are necessary to free victims who may be trapped in or under vehicles. Volusia County's Fire Services is proud to have an outstanding extrication team that is placed first in the nation and as high as third in international competition. Volusia County also has a hazardous materials team which is comprised of volunteers and career firefighters from county fire services and various municipalities. The hazmat team responds to incidents which require special handling of hazardous materials. Members receive training to handle toxic spills, tank leaks, and many other hazardous situations. Emergency communications are critical. Fires and other emergencies are reported to the new state-of-the-art communications facility, where a computer-aided dispatch system recommends the closest county fire units to emergency incidents. Units are contacted on the county's new 800 megahertz trunk radio system, which has 27 different frequencies linking personnel on tactical channels and individual talk groups. Being a Volusia County firefighter is an exciting, challenging, and rewarding job. Members receive many benefits for their service to the community, including a retirement program, life insurance, free physicals, and educational opportunities for fire and rescue related courses. But there is also a fun side to joining the Volusia County Fire Services team. Members build teamwork and share good times by participating in sporting activities, cookouts, and competitions. The Firematics competition is one of the best ways ways to have fun and improve firefighting skills. Teams from Volusia County Fire Services have captured several state firematics titles in recent years. The members of the Department of Fire Services are committed to excellence. Their mission is to maintain the highest standards of professional service through continued training and education, reflecting their pride 
and respect for the community and the department. Whenever the alarm sounds day or night, someone's life or property may depend on the actions of the dedicated members of the Lucia County Fire Services. To learn how to become a member of the team that is second to none, visit your nearby county fire station today.